Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Card here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K20 and integrating the WNBA inside the game. Now, make sure you guys get 3,000 likes. Thank you guys for all the support. Let's hop into the video. To start things off, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information before we hopped into the trailer. If anybody is looking for a WNBA My Career or looking to hit the park immediately as soon as you guys get into the game, we're gonna have to talk about that. So let's hop into the trailer. The moment that we first see the LA Sparks and you see Candace Parker on the game, it's just as important for girls and boys to be able to see females as role models. I fell in love with the game of basketball, really learned how to compete. From there, I became competitive and always wanted to win. And then I loved winning. And I love how the NBA tries to claim that they had the bigs that shot threes and handled the ball before the WNBA, which I don't know is true. Brianna Stewart, she's that prototype versatility. She's one of those players that she has now, but she also has next. When I'm playing or when someone else is playing, I can be like, yeah, I did that. You know, I grew up watching the WNBA when I was 11 years old is when it started. Changed my brain from going out to shooting like Michael Jordan on my outdoor hoop to now going up and trying to raise the roof like Cynthia Cooper and, you know, do a turnaround like Tina Thompson. I'm so thankful for them for inspiring me. We wanted to make sure that the game was right. Out of at least probably three to 5,000 animations. For me, it's the entire package uh, to try and capture all the motions that we could, to represent as many different players as we could. And the WNBA was represented exactly how it should be. And so I think right now with 2K20, I'm super excited for how it's going to turn out. I think it's the perfect time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that trailer. I hope you enjoyed the commentary by Candace Parker and Brianna Stewart. Now, let's talk about the WNBA inside of NBA 2K20. Now, when I first got the news about the WNBA gonna be in the game, I was thinking, yo, they gonna be bringing shorties to the park. You know what I'm saying? Females are actually gonna be able to start creating their characters and being able to be out there with the rest of us on the park and not have to worry about all the misogynistic nonsense that happens in basketball, but, uh. When the news broke about the WNBA being in the game, not only did that happen, um, I actually was kind of pissed off about it. You know what I mean? I'm still pissed off about it. We got to check ourselves as men. But basically, in the form of bringing the WNBA into the game, they will be featured in play now and in season. So what NBA 2K did this year was they didn't focus on trying to implement a female character inside of my career or whatever that case may be or probably even online at the park what they did was they focused on solely on the WNBA to implement them in the game so all 12 teams from the WNBA will be in the game as well as some of the uh, top all-stars best players ever stuff like that inside play now but they also will feature it in seasons which means all the franchise mode type players you guys will be able to build a WNBA season or franchise around that even female players that may play a franchise or male players that may want to get a different feel from the WNBA in franchise you guys will have that ability now, since the WNBA came out with this article, I read it on Operation Sports, it seems that everything that they focused on was face scanning, mocap, tattoos, gear, uh, regular clothing, hairstyles, looks, accessories, everything like that formed around just the WNBA itself. It seems to me that 2K didn't focus on creating a storyline for a creative female character aside from the male character's My Career story. So to all the My Career hopefuls out there that thought that they were probably going to be getting a My Career storyline from the female perspective, I think that there won't be one this year. Now, that doesn't say that NBA 2K21 might not have it, but what I do notice is when 2K decides to 
implement something new into their game. They don't focus too much on it being built inside of my career, opposed to just making sure that it's in a game and that it's done right. Just like when they brought FIBA to 2K, when they brought college uh, teams and stuff to the 2K, um, also just bringing in like all the old school like historic teams and stuff like that like that some of that did help for my career where they were able to scan Shaq scan Kareem you know what I mean put them in mocap put them in your storyline but being being a fan of those teams is cool but they didn't really implement too much of it into the game like they didn't have you sitting down uh at the 2k tv watching you know 96 bulls jordan win the chip you know what i mean like you know implementing something like that with their historic teams that they put inside the game i mean because we've seen things that like shady triple zero 18 can do where he can mimic in real life moments with teams so that idea alone is like 2k you gotta pay me because that's a dope idea to have a 2k my player sitting on his couch and his my uh court watching tape and film of historic matches and 2k actually using the in-game creations and shady mimicking those moments that is so fire but you know what i'm getting too far away from the WNBA, and i just want to say that this is really dope um a lot of people are in an uproar on uh twitter you know talking about man another game did this before that 2k just stealing i mean technically it's all basketball it's all uh professional basketball and i feel like now we're at a point where it's possible so i'm glad to see that there but whoever makes the my career from a female standpoint first that's a w and i know that a lot of people might not think that but i feel like that's a w you know what i mean but one thing that i am hoping for i'm hoping to see female characters at the park i'm hoping to see female um pro-am teams and stuff like that i just think that will make things so much more dope and i know that honestly it will separate uh, a lot of players it'll put females in a whole different class than males and you know it'll just create more turmoil but i just feel like coming from the standpoint where i know like 2k's game plan and the nba's game plan and the WNBA's game plan like looking at things from like a corporate mind I feel like if they do it right and they create female characters in the game and you're able to play online and stuff like that, it just opens doors. Like, just imagine like the homie Kita, like being like, remember I was talking about this when I was doing a Ronnie 2K uh, neighborhood stuff that he was talking about. When he was talking about Kita, like that she could be a flagship for what could possibly be for the WNBA 2K League where they actually have professional gaming women doing their thing on teams like just imagine those 12 WNBA teams having uh 12 affiliate teams for the 2k league that'd be fire you know what i mean that just opens the door to get more people paid get more eyes on esports in actual sports you know what i mean like that that's really dope you know what i mean like i seen a lot of admiration for the uh season two 2k league where you know the timberwolves got the chip and you know they was doing the interviews and everything like that and the bull was real he was real smart he said man i came from nothing you know what i'm saying i was able to get in this season i was able to get a chip and everybody next up for season three that right there just shows what can happen like these type of things change people's lives like i was um i was on twitter scrolling and I seen an article, I forgot what team it was, but uh, they said that one of their players was um, a person that used to like be inside of a freezer, lifting 80 to 100 pound boxes daily, you know what I mean, for 12 hours a day. And then that person got a back injury and then started playing 2K and was able to get into the season. And you know what I mean? And like that was life changing, you feel me? So just imagine what this can do for the, the female side of esports, the female side of basketball, gaming, 2K, all of that. Like it's so many opportunities in this. Like just like how I've been doing this for so many years, playing video games, uploading content, streaming, like this stuff is life changing. Like me being able to look at this camera and speak to a, a broad spectrum of people about a video game that we play every single day and be able to make an income from it is really dope. Like there's so many moms and dads that reach out to me personally asking, how did I get into it? Because their kids want to get into it. 
you know what I mean? This is giving kids a drive that we really didn't have when we were younger. When we were younger, we was in the mud. We were trying to figure out any way to get out. Some of us chose, you know, criminal activity. Some of us chose, you know what I'm saying, the workforce. Some of us chose to go to school. But now they got kids out here winning millions of dollars for playing video games. Now, I know that this has been going on for quite a while, but the way social media has turned up in the recent years, you now hear about these things. Like, I remember all the old Call of Duty tournaments and stuff like that. But now, almost every single game out there that's competitive, that's online, that has Battle Royale, and hopefully, you know, sports like Madden, FIFA, stuff like that, they're having tournaments that involve players, professional players, getting compensated. So you can make it out the hood, you can make it out the suburbs, you can make it out of a, a closed community with mansions, whatever. You can make it out of there doing what you love. And that's really fire to me. Like, it's really, really fire to me. So with that being said, I'm all for the WNBA uh, coming into NBA 2K20. Next year, though, we definitely going to need female players in my career. We're definitely going to need online competitive play with female characters, like all of that. Like, I want to see this really make a stand. I really want to see this stay. And to everybody out there that has been, like, hating on, you know, making memes and stuff like that, come on, y'all. Like, we better than that. We better than that. Like, I'm, I mean, I know inside the comments, y'all going to be like, shut your ball head ass up. Like, I know. I know people are going to say that, but... Come on, guys. We better than that. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a wife. I got a daughter. You know what I mean? I have a son as well. But my daughter, like, I really make sure that, you know, she's loved and always felt like she's being loved. You know what I mean? So, you know, we can't be doing these things. Because I know a couple years later, all the meme accounts and, and stuff like that, you guys are going to look back on this. You're going to have a daughter. And it's going to change your whole perspective on the way you talk to people and, and act on social media. You know what I mean? But... I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I am out of here. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.